Hi everyone. How are you? I hope you had a wonderful holiday season. I hope you um, had a great new year and that your year is off to a new start. Hopefully you had some time to relax and refresh and recharge. And you know, now, um, now you're back. And so mine, <laughs> mine was super challenging. Um, I had some big hurdles to overcome, but everything all is well now. And thank God everything is looking up. So I'm back with another Sunday Be Inspiration. And this week I wanted to talk about, uh, I guess decluttering would be a good way to talk about it, clearing out. So I, many of you probably know, or maybe you don't, um, this woman called Marie Kondo and she had come up with this whole cleaning out method, right? Of cleaning out your house, decluttering. And so um, the idea is that, so if we talk about clothes first, you take out all of your clothes, make like a huge pile. I mean, like everything that you have, make a huge pile. And then you go through each one and kind of say, does this thing still spark joy for me? Does it make me happy? Like, what are your feelings around each particular item? And as you go through that, you start to realize that a lot of things that you have no longer make you happy or maybe they never did, whatever the case is. And so it's interesting, you know, to go through everything and just say, okay, if, if it doesn't make you happy, you know, just say thank you and get rid of it. And it kind of makes it really easy. So I tried to do it before, but I didn't really like do the whole method of taking everything out. I kind of just went through things. But when there's a process to something, you really need to follow the process because this time I actually follow the process and I end up getting rid of like two thirds of, of my stuff, right? So that's a lot. And so I was thinking about that and I was thinking about, you know, making room and how, you know, when we want more, we have to sort of make room for the more. Like you can't have a bunch of stuff cluttering your life and then think that you can have, that you're gonna get more because there's no space, right? So that's what had me um, thinking about. And then I realized like how much stuff we actually fill our space with and fill our lives with. And um, I was thinking about how like there's so much, so much more that I want to do, especially in this new year and how if I continue on with having so much stuff that's cluttering my space, how can I be clear enough or how can I have space enough to do the other things that I want to do? Sort of set a little bit of a challenge for us to ask ourselves this year on the things that we have either on our calendar or in our life, in our physical space, in our inner space. Is it something that's sparking joy? Is it something that makes you happy? Um, because we know that, you know, with COVID and kind of having all that highlighted for us, how life is sort of short. And precious and so you know are we doing things that are making us happy not everything is going to directly make you happy but can contribute to your happiness right so does it spark a door by making you happy is it necessary for your success um, is it something that you have to do in order to get to the goals that you have or to walk out you know the things that are that you're gifted to do um, sometimes there's, there's there's not sometimes but there's always more than one way to do something so is the th are the things that you're doing necessary for you to reach that goal of your success? And three, is it part of your purpose? Like, is it, is it contributing to the reason why you feel that you're here, right? That's really important because there's like a million ways to make money and a million ways to find success. But if you don't, um, if you're not fulfilling your purpose and the reason why you're, you're here, then you're always going to feel like a void or an emptiness. And we wanna try to avoid that. All right, so ask yourself those three questions. And so I was thinking about my 2021 goals and the things that I want to do. And I know that if I don't put them on my calendar, then it's pretty much not going to get done. And so that's uh, one of the things I'm challenging myself to do is to go through what are my commitments? What are the things that I need to stay committed to? And what are the things that are just not serving me? And it doesn't mean that they're bad things or bad for me. It just means that they're not the best option or the best thing that's that I need to be doing at this moment in time. So I'll also remember that sometimes you have to make decisions between things that are not um, that are not bad either way, but what's the best thing for you at this moment. And so that's one of the things that I want to go through. So that's what I'm challenging you guys to do as well, to ask yourself. And so we're, we're just, we're talking about making room in your life, making room in your schedule, making room in your space, and then also making room in your heart. So 
this year, I know for me, I want to make sure that I'm making room for God in my life. And I want to make sure that I'm making room for a relationship with God uh, because I, 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 I don't know how to, how to put it. Like <laughs> I do, um, set aside time for God, but a lot of times I'm not making the most of it. And a lot of times I'm not being intentional with it. And so I'm going to do that this year and see how that, um, makes a change and how things are, um, makes things a lot easier for me in my life. Cause I know I've seen it before and I want to see it again. So it's all about checking and adjusting and, and doing what we know, um, we can do better for ourselves. Cause we make time for things that we treasure and things that are important to us. And so, you can, you can, I'm sure you could relate to, you know, times where you've been busy and you know, you have a lot of things to do and get done, but somebody calls you with something that's interesting or intriguing and you're like, uh, yeah, I can make room for that. I can make time for that. And so that's what we want to do also with, um, I mean, that's not what we want to do also, but we want to be intentional, intentional about making room for things that are important to every single area of our life. So declutter, get rid of things that are not important, focus on the things that are I gave you three ways that you can um, ask yourself questions about that. Is it contributing to my joy? Is it contributing to my success? Um, and is it contributing to my purpose? So that will allow you to kind of evaluate and clean out uh, a lot of things that are in your life that you may or may not need. Thank you so much for watching. I thought that um, <laughs> I'm a little rusty. Thank you so much for watching. I hope this was helpful for you. Um, I encourage you to stay prayed up and thank you so much for continuing to ride with me on this journey. Have an amazing week.